Hi guys, several of you have asked me about the power brake system on the electric S10. I'm going to give you a quick walkabout, show you how I wired it up, and maybe it'll work for you. Anyway, give you a few ideas. All right, here we go. All right. I have 12 volt battery power coming up here to this terminal. Comes over through a circuit breaker. I have a relay. This relay gets the 12 volt battery power and then when I turn the key on, this relay energizes, sends that 12 volt battery power over here to this fuse block. And in this fuse block, I've got a couple of fuses for the vacuum pump. One of them is for the vacuum pump relay, which is a five amp fuse. And another one is the vacuum pump motor, which is a 15 amp fuse. So this is now energized because the ignition switch is on, it's coming through the relay. Okay, I take the, the power to the relay through the, through the fuse and it comes down here goes through this vacuum switch this vacuum switch is normally closed so that means that the contacts are closed until this reaches about oh around 18 inches of vacuum then the switch opens to, to shut off the pump so this is low vacuum uh, the switch is closed it sends the power over to this relay okay and because the switch is closed on the vacuum switch, this relay energizes and takes the load of the motor, brings the 15 amp fuse, brings that power over here to the motor, uh, through the relay, the motor runs, the vacuum pump runs, suction side of the pump, pulls the vacuum out of the canister through a little check valve. This is a one-way check valve. So it holds the vacuum in this canister and this can be less vacuum than the canister, or whichever way you're looking at. Anyway, this, is, this check valve holds the vacuum, okay? Then it comes, draws out of the canister, goes down, goes through the vacuum switch, and then from the vacuum switch, it goes over into the power brake booster diaphragm, okay? The switch to control the vacuum pump, the vacuum switch, is between that diaphragm and the vacuum reservoir okay if you put this switch between the reservoir check valve and pump if you put it in in this line right here between the pump and the reservoir if this the pump is going to cycle on and off rapidly because this is not getting an accurate signal to, to tell it when to shut off okay um, I can't see what else um, if you have a weak pump that won't start under a load you might have to put a few pinholes maybe just one or two pinholes in this hose between the pump and the canister check valve so that the vacuum will bleed off, allowing the pump an easier time to, to get started. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Uh, there's wiring diagrams and other information at the website. Just check out waynesev.com. And hey, have a good evening. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Bye.